Welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my videos before, this is Subpar Planning. My name is Lynn, and I have been a planner since about 2018, 2019. I'm not an avid planner in regards to like posting and putting up videos all the time, but if I have time, I will do it because I like to do it. And I just like to um, show what I'm doing. Um, I will say that it's definitely not as um, creative as many of the other content creators. And I'm okay with that because I, I just, I'm just not at that level. Um, so anyways, yeah, just, this is just a simple gal who likes planners, who wants to make them look really pretty, but then gets super overwhelmed and then just stops. So if that speaks to you, then I'm your gal. So anyways, let's get started. Um, feel free to subscribe, like the video, dislike it. It's fine. Um, you know, hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration to maybe just get started doing something um, that, I don't know, maybe it's just something that's always interested you, but it's not as, um, maybe you just don't have a clear vision of what you want to do, and that's okay. It's not a big deal. You kind of may stumble a little bit along the way, because that's what I do. I stumble every day, and I'm still, I'm still here. So hopefully you'll find some... Um, get some ideas out of this and hopefully you'll just have some fun watching it. So grab a cup of tea or a, an adult beverage or a hot cup of cocoa or a soda and have a seat. So um, I have my 2024 planner done, um, sort of. I, th I think there's still some more stuff that I need to do to it. And I'm gonna do another video of that specifically, but this is um, something that has Basically, um, I guess it's kind of like needled me, like, like since I started planning. So I started out as a happy planner kind of gal, and I really liked the discs because you can interchange your sheets and it, it allowed you some more creativity, but I never veered away from like the happy planner calendars and the setups, which is fine. You know, some people like that. And that was me. I, I never really thought about like going off onto Etsy or going to those other places to, um, buy stuff. It just didn't really occur to me. And the other thing too is, is I'm one of those people that I don't want to wait. Like I don't want to order something and then wait for it to get here. I want to just go to the store, pick it up, bring it home and just like tear into it and start using it. So I wouldn't exactly say I'm like the most patient of people, which is, you know, I think a lot of people. Um, so the one planner system, and I've tried them all. I've tried rings, I've tried disc bound, I've done mini planners, pocket planners, personal planners, um, A5s, whatever. I've used bullet journals, although they're never, they never look like the stuff that other people do. Like just, you know, let's just, let's just, you know, not even pretend. So I've always, I've tried everything, but I always end up going back to the disc planner because it's kind of like, it's what I know and it's what I'm comfortable with because I'm, at times I really do find that I am almost holding myself back from actually trying to do something or trying to try, try to try something different, I guess you could say. So, um, but the one thing that I'd never done that's always like needled me, and actually I have had Traveler's Notebook in the past. I think I had a Webster's Traveler's, um, pocket size and that's somewhere in a closet in a box somewhere. I even, I don't even know where it is, but I, I have it. Um, but I've always wanted a traveler's notebook and, you know, I have tried making traveler's notebooks out of soft leather. I've tried making them out of paper. I mean, you know, you name it, I'm sure I've tried to concoct some version of that at some point, but I finally just caved in and I bought myself a Christmas present and this is what it is. So basically it's a traveler's notebook, um, with some of the accessories and stuff. So we'll kind of just like go through what I got. Um, and then I'll kind of talk about like my thought process behind the setup. Now, this isn't my 2024 calendar. Um, uh, excuse me. This isn't my 2024 planner. It's not going to be an everyday carry. If anything, I might turn it into a wallet. Although I've been using my Filofax mini Malden as a wallet for probably the past like three years now or two years. And it's my go-to, like, I don't use any other wallets. I have tons of wallets, but I don't use them because I keep going back to that mini Malden. Cause it's just, 
it's easy. I can carry it in my hand. I can put it in my coat pocket. Um, it holds money. It holds all of the credit cards or any like discount cards and my uh, whatever gift cards. It holds everything. And, and, and it's just convenient because you just flip the pages. Um, but nonetheless, maybe I'll do a, a quick um, flip through of my my uh, mini Malden so you can kind of see how I have it set up. It's, it's really nothing fancy and it's very um, it's a very utilitarian type of setup. Um, but anyways, let's just get started with this. So a couple of different things that I got. So I went to several different websites to order this stuff. So and um, some of it's from my own stash and we will go through that as well. So this is just more money that I spend on stuff that I clearly don't need. Okay, so getting started here. So one of the things that I bought was the actual traveler's notebook. It's actually quite lovely. Um, I still don't know what I'm supposed to, I think this goes inside. I don't know. Um, it's the Navy blue and, um, I'm actually just going to put this in its cloth bag in my bag and just let it get chanked up. I'm going to do that at some point. This is the book that came with it. It's just a simple book here. Um, it's just one of the travels notebooks. And then it's got that little cute little passport page that you can fill out. But this is essentially what I got. I got this. Um, and that's all it came with. And I, if for those of you that have traveler's notebooks or have used them or seen them in the past, I don't need to go through like the unboxing. Like, you know what it looks like. Along with this, um, I ordered a couple of other things. So I ordered the message card, which I thought was actually kind of cute. Um, so I ordered that one. I ordered the um, Have a Nice Trip Traveler's Notebook clip, which I actually really enjoy. Um, it's very, it's a heavy brass. It's actually really, it's pretty cool. Something else I ordered was the infamous sticker page book. Um, these were hard to find. Like I had to, I think I went on like three different web websites to get it, but it's the sticker page book. So you can put down stickers, take them off. So this is kind of nice to just kind of slide in here. So if there's appointment stickers or anything, I want to put a write down for notes I can. Um, and then again, it has the traveler's notebook, um, passport page in it. Um, something else that I ordered was the, um, Traveler's Notebook Repair Kit. And the reason why was because I am going to change my strings out at some point. I actually have the string cut up and done. This mustard yellow kind of string is actually this one here came with the Traveler's Notebook. It came with the navy blue and it came with that mustard yellow. So I ordered that. That was actually, it's kind of cool. And then the other thing that I ordered was the customized sticker set, um, for the Traveler's Notebook. This actually didn't come in. It came with the notebook. But if you haven't seen these, which I'm going to say you most likely have because everyone's been doing their passport flip throughs, these are the stickers that came with the um, stickers the, that comes in this 2024 sticker set, um, the diary set, excuse me. So it's those traveler stickers, some pouches, some of these really cool um, translucent type dots, these fun little stickers for like marking things down, the actual calendar stickers. So if you have their... Um, either their pocket or their traveler's uh, full traveler's notebook size um, calendars. You can add that on. And then they have some cool little stickers here for the alphabet. So I just bought it because I really like the stickers. I thought these were cute and I wanted to use these to maybe decorate like a folder. Um, and I just put this in here because I wanted to keep that for part of my setup. So we don't need to put that back in because you don't care. Um, and the other thing that I got was this thing, which is the Traveler's Town... Um, like a folder but it's kind of weird because I don't know what to do with it I've seen some people like cut the bottom here and so they can put it in in between their books um I don't really know what to do with it I'm kind of thinking about like sticking some adhesive on this side and then just like slapping it in there and just calling it good but I don't know I might do that I'm not sure I don't really honest I just liked it I like the color so I bought it again this is the th this is the worrisome part of the um my thought process is like, I see stuff and I buy it and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm hoping that there are other people out there. I believe that there are other people out there that feel that way. So I'm going to just kind of roll with that. Some stuff that I ordered. So I bought this from, I'm going to butcher their name. So I'm not even going to cry, but the people that make these things. Bum Kitchen? Kishon? Um, that's where I ordered some of that stuff. The other stuff I ordered from... Uh, Pen, Pentique, I think was the other place that I ordered from, but that was mostly these, that was from all of that stuff. 
Then I decided to order some stuff from AliExpress. Now, I don't know about you folks. I have never ordered anything from Timo. I've never ordered anything from AliExpress. I've always been kind of like leery, but I saw this organizer wallet and I really wanted to get it because it kind of is my thought process for the, for the whole wallet aspect. So this was actually purchased from AliExpress and I actually think I ordered it and I think I had it within 14 days. Uh, actually not even within 14 days. I want to say I had it within like 10 days, but this is a, they're claiming it's leather. It's a very soft, it's like a soft leather. I mean, it's like really super floppy, but it's a soft leather. The zipper actually works really well. Um, this will hold two, two credit cards pretty easily because it's so soft. You can probably fit a couple in there. Um, this is like a cart. This is a credit card size. Um, but you can, looks like you can hold some stuff in there pretty, pretty easily. Um, you can also put some credit cards in here if you choose to. And because this is so soft, I could almost potentially, if I really wanted to, I could probably try to sew, um, another pouch or like a pocket right here if I really wanted to. But I thought this just really would look nice with the, with the navy blue and with the orange kind of tie. So this is from AliExpress. And then I ordered a couple of these. And again, I was going to supplement credit card, credit cards with this. I was just going to throw this in here. I didn't, I don't really like the zippered component of that, but I really don't care. I just probably won't use it, but it'll probably be something like that. So that will hold, now hold um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 cards if I need it. And again, it's, I don't have that many credit cards, but I have like a lot of like, you know, store, re store rewards cards. And I have a lot of gift cards. Like people, you know, I usually get gift cards for, for Christmas gifts or for birthdays and stuff, which I love because I can just spend it on whatever I want. But I got a package of two of those. And that was from AliExpress. And then the last thing I got, uh, excuse me, a couple more things I got from AliExpress was this. This is a paper traveler's notebook um, folder and it's in blue and I got it because hello, the passport's blue and I figured I'd just try it. Um, but it is legit paper. It's like a, it's like a heavy duty paper. Um, and it has card slots here, card slot here, the zipper, which is surprisingly smooth. It's really easy to open and close. I, it says here, traveler's notebook, the world is a book, but people who, who be not travel, read only one page so anyways and it's got a little pen loop in here and then here it says um something design traveler's notebook so it's actually kind of neat and the thing is is that the way because this is set up this way i could literally take this and sandwich these two together and then have two zipper pockets a pen loop and then a place to put either some money or credit cards or whatever. So that's another option that I have. And it's kind it's kind of neat. Like, I kind of like the way it's, I don't know, I kind of like the way that's set up. So anyways, you know, that's a possibility. But this thing is like straight up paper. And I don't know if this is comparable to like that Midori one that we had that I see people have. Or if it's comparable to the Traveler's Company. Because I don't know. I've never purchased anything from there. But there's that. The other thing I got was this um, set of pencil boards. And I, I obviously I don't need it for the full size one, but the reason why I got it was because of the pocket size one. And let me get this out so you have to deal with reflection. But I just really like this because photography is one of the things that I really like to do. And so I just thought that this was actually kind of fun to have in my book. I bent it a little bit already because, <laughs> you know, I can't be careful with anything. Um, but I just thought this was kind of nice. Um, you know, world is so beautiful. Have a nice trip. And then all these kind of like the gold. And, you know, I just liked it because basically because it says photography on it. in the little... Um, um, which I'm gonna call it the pyramids. But then this is the uh, full size one, which is actually kind of, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because I'm hopefully not gonna give into the temptation of buying yet another notebook or planner that I won't be using. But this one says Flight Academy, but this is actually really cool because of this um, globe. And then this one says around, let's go waiting for you, wonderful trip. And that's actually kind of cute too. So, you know. I'm sure I can find a reasons to use these, but I just, I just thought the set was really cute and it wasn't really that expensive. So I decided to get it, but I'll be using this one for our purposes. 
the last thing, um, one of the two last things that I got were these date stickers. So these are kind of neat. Um, and I bought them. I wish I had seen these before I dated my um, ring planner or the um, Stology planner that I have because it would have made my life a lot easier. Um, but these are actually really cool. They're transparent. They're like a vellum backing sticker for each month. They are not like like um yearly dated they're just monthly dates um so it's kind of cool uh i kind of like these and i think i'm probably going to order some more because this is a full year and i think even in even in february this year is a leap year coming up but they did have the 20 number 29 for february which is kind of cool so i think i'm going to order i just want to see what these are like so now that i've seen them um and they're very very thin they're kind of cool looking stickers Let's see if I can pull one off here. Um, somehow, some way. There we go. I just had to really get my nail in there. But you can see it's kind of what a it's kind of like a transparent kind of a sticker, but it's kind of, it's cool, you know. And if you really wanted to get like super creative with this, you could certainly, I don't think this is going to go back, but you can certainly take like a pair of iris scissors or some really delicate scissors and actually cut around that before you peel it off. So if you really just want to not have that square shape, um, you can, but honestly, it's really not that bad because they're so delicate. But anyways, I thought these were kind of cool. So maybe for next year, if I have to redate or date a, a blank calendar, I can purchase, you know, a couple more copies or whatever, however many I need depending on how many planners I have. Um, you know, that's good for, you can use this for the monthly, you can use it for daily, but these are these are pretty cool. It's just state stickers. It's oval. I can't remember the shop that I got it from, but they're cool. And then the last thing that I got was um, these charms. Like, I really like astrology. I like, you know, that, I just think it's a lot of fun. I love, like, lunar stickers and things like that. So this is just a cancer. Uh this is just a cancer. That's my birth, my birth month. So, or my, my star sign. So I just figured I'd get one and I'd actually add it to my, to my, um, traveler's notebook. So that's the stuff that I bought. And so then there's some stuff that I have from my stash. So this is something that I had kicking around and I just, I never did anything with it, but I just really liked the way it looked. Um, it's basically my initial and there's this cute little bird and then a camera because you know, those, that's my jam. And so I'll probably just attach that on there and just make it all clunky looking and jingly jangly right there. And then for some reason I had a jump band. I don't know where the hell this came from, but I'll take it. I found it. And then this is like a really old um, stained to high heaven. God only knows where this thing's been. Um, but this is one of those paper folders. And so what I was going to do is I was actually going to, if I decided to use this as a wallet at some point this coming year, I was going to take my bills, my dollar bills and, um, do something like something like this. So I was going to actually instead, because you know how people, you, most people take their money and they fold it and put it like that. But I was actually going to do it like that and just have my, my bills fold up. So let me see if I have a, I'm sure I got a bill somewhere. Hang on. One dollar dollar bills y'all so yeah yeah so a lot of people will take the money and they'll fold it and that's cool i mean i think that's fine especially if you got these things cut you can see it but i don't want to do that because then i can't really see what i got so i was just going to actually put the money in like that and then fold it and then if i need it i can have access to it i can also do the same thing if i decide to do something like that if I decide to do this kind of a situation. There he is. Good night, Ben. So yeah. So if I need cash. Although, I mean, honestly, how many how many people still use cash? Like for real? Like I mean, I just have a debit card. I mean, I carry cash with me because, you know, just in case you never know. But um most people I know use their debit card. So there's a couple of other things that I have that I might decorate my binder with. And these are um, just some fun stickers that I bought. Like this one says, oh my cod. And then that's from when I went to Massachusetts. And this one says cranky Yankee because I, I feel that to my bones, to my to my core sometimes. Um, but then I have other stickers that I might add. And, you know, it's just like, you know, just fun stickers that I've 
collected over the years and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, again, who's to say um, what I'm going to do with that? But that's essentially what that is. So I guess what we'll do is we'll kind of put this together just to skosh so you can kind of see what I'm talking about in terms of like my color, my color designs, my color theme, if you will. So the cool thing about these things though, honestly, and again, I mean, please, you know, there's tons of videos, with many more better experienced individuals who have used these books in the past that like they have like straight up setups. Um, but you know, I'll show you what I was going to do. So as a new ish traveler's notebook, individual right so I just thought the orange kind of looked cool so then there there's that scratch the hell out of that I don't even care I see let it get scratched right because that's the whole point isn't it actually I don't like that that looks stupid so let's just do this first I think that bird's just a little extra. I don't think we need to have that like extra element. That bird is adorable, but I think it's just a little too much for the old Linster. So let's just. Yeah, that only took like 15 minutes. There, there's that. So there's that. And then if I really wanted to get kind of, kind of, you know, change it up a little bit. Let's see, this one looks good. Oops. The cool thing about these colors, this color of like this brass looking kind of metal, it's kind of nice is that it's gonna patina, but it really won't matter. Um, Cause you know, it still kind of looks like that no matter what. So the only thing I can think of is maybe kind of taking this and just kind of threading it through and just letting that hang, which I might do. But, you know, who's to say? Another thing is my favorite my favorite time of year, my, my favorite month is October, and I really love Halloween, so I could always just do something like that, too. But we're not going to worry about that. We'll, th we'll, we'll figure that out later. So next, now that this is done, this is the outside of it. So that's going to get all scratched to hell, which is fantastic. Um, next is the insert. So I don't really know what to do that thing. It's kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is, for now... I'm going to put some stickers on this bad boy, I think, and just kind of decorate it a little bit. And so what I can do is I can certainly do some of these stickers in here because that'd be kind of cool. I kind of like that just because of what it looks like. Um, but, you know, like these Traveler's Town stickers are just actually really cute. I'm not going to be using these because there's really no need for them. But I might actually take these off and strip them, strip them down, and then put them on my sticker book that I have just so that I can carry them with me. And the same thing with these, if I need to make any kind of notations, this actually could be um, beneficial to maybe put on the outside of this, maybe something like that. I am a traveler's notebook noob, if you will. Um, so yeah, this is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, and the other thing is it's kind of neat to just maybe put this on the side just like that. And then you can have like a little pouch or pocket to put stuff in. Um, but see, this is the problem. See what happens is I get stuff. I get this stuff in front of me, right? So let's just do this. Cause that's, that's what's happening. So what happens is this, this happens and I get all this crap in front of me. And then what I do is I shut down and I'm like, yeah, I can't do this right now. And then I literally will take it and I'll put it in a box and I'll put it away and I go to something else because I get very overwhelmed. And I, and I think that's part of the reason why I have such a hard time planning because I know what I like. I just don't know how to put it together. I don't know how to put it together co and make it cohesive and make it look good. And I think that's part of the problem because I get so frustrated with myself that I just, I just literally will take the stuff and, uh, then I'll, I'll do something like this. And th this is, this is what will happen. I literally will just put it all away and I can't, I can't deal with it because now I'm, I'm starting to feel myself right now actually getting really overwhelmed trying to do this. 
And so that's something that I have a hard time with. And it's for no other reason other than I just, I don't know what to do and I just get overwhelmed. And so what I need to do is I just need to kind of stop and focus on one thing at a time and see how that goes. But maybe right now what I'll do is I'll just focus on this and I will try to decorate just this. But yeah, who the hell knows how that's gonna go. Um, so anyways, these are the stickers that came with my order and they're really beautiful stickers. Um, and they're like this, like, they're almost like a washi tape type of, type of paper. Um, if you've ever ordered from this company, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, they're beautiful and I almost kind of don't want to use them, which is what makes this so hard for me is I find stickers and I really like the way they look. And then I don't want to use them because I don't want to put them on something that I'm, I'm going to end up throwing away. So I know a lot of people archive their books when, um, when they're done for the year and I, I don't archive stuff. I just, the year's over. I don't need to look back on it. I have my own memories and I'm not interested in kind of looking at the past. I just want to keep moving forward. So for me, holding on to the year's, you know, monthly pages or weekly pages, stuff like that, I don't normally, don't normally hold on to. Now there is an exception to that. And the exception is my photo of the month pages. I do keep those because, you know, they're like my version of like a photo album because I'm too lazy to actually put something together. So I do keep that, but for the most part, um, I don't keep my old pages. I just, I get rid of them because I don't, I don't need them. I remember, you know, and I have my, um, digital photo albums that, you know, have pictures pop up here and there and, you know, whatever. So that's kind of how, that's kind of how I roll with that. Um, but with that being said, I, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. I'm starting to feel myself getting a little overwhelmed all of a sudden. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Hey, look what else I got, which is completely not planner related, but they're kind of fun stickers. You know, they're not stickers, excuse me, they're die cuts of like medical stuff. So, cause you know, it's, I can't, I can't do this right now. I'm starting to feel myself getting overwhelmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pick out some stuff to put in my planner. I really like that one. This is kind of fun because you can pop it out and make it like a tag. Um, so it's kind of fun, but let me see what else there is here. This one's kind of cool. That's what we look like on the inside. It's kind of fun. Um, yep, yeah, I think that's good. So maybe I'll stick those on the book, on the, I think, I see this is what happens. See, now I can feel it, it's happening. Does this happen to everybody else? Please tell me somewhat. Please tell me. Please tell me that other people feel this overwhelming anxiety when it comes to putting these things on because for some reason I'm so afraid I'm going to make a mistake. <gasps> my God, what if I make a mistake? Well, I, that's the whole thing is in my brain, I understand and recognize that if I make a mistake, so what? Like, really, it's not that big of a deal. But for some reason, it almost paralyzes me to the point where I can't do this because literally I've been talking for like the, probably the past like four minutes and I have not done anything that I said I was going to do aside from this. That's it. And that's because I can take it off. So it's not like permanent, like a sticker, which is kind of funny. So I need to just commit and I just need to get it done. And I'm having a really hard time right now doing that. I, I, I can't do it. I keep stopping myself from doing it. So you know what? This is it. Gonna do it. Gonna get it done. Let's go. So, so um, these traveler's notebooks are actually stickers are actually really beautiful, and I just love the way that they look. So, um, the ones that have the date on them, I don't necessarily think I'm gonna use for this, just because you know this isn't like a year. This is something I'm probably gonna keep using until it falls apart. So, um, you know, this is kind of this is kind of cute. Oh God, here we go. Oh God. Oh geez. I just did it. Okay. It's done. It's done. Just let's done. It's all right. Let's, don't worry about it. Just get over with. Let's cover up this. I don't even know what the hell that is. We're just going to do that. Make cover that mofo up there. And let's see, let's take the bus. Let's take the traveler's bus. I'm just going to do that. There. Oh my gosh. That, that, see, look, look at me go. I'm committing. I'm making commitments. This is cra it's crazy. It's crazy pants. So, oops, I just tear, I just tore that fox. That's sucky because that's one of the best ones. 
washy fox. It's okay, you can't tell, right? Maybe that fox has just got a little gray hair there. And um, let me see, I'm gonna do this wolf. You know what's really troubling is I'm beginning to realize that I have the backside to do as well and I don't want to. This is just one more thing I have to do and I don't want to deal with it. Okay. There. Stuck. It's done. It's committed. Commit. Commit. Commitment. Commitment. So, something that I noticed when I was trying to put that hundy in was it was getting caught on these things. So, that might be a good place to put that sticker or that die cut and the nice thing about that is that die cut hopefully will scare someone if they open it i'm just kidding i obviously know that that's not gonna scare anybody there so i'll keep that and so that way i can slide the money in and out without it getting caught on those stupid things and let's see i don't think i have any tape well not even really get like true adhesive. I think all I have is like scotch tape. That's not really going to work for me, but maybe what I'll do is I'll just pop this here and then, you know, let's see, let's, let's go, let's just go crazy. Let's, uh, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Um, these are of no use to me. ASMR. Just kidding. I don't know. I mean, I kind of like that stuff. I know some people I think that's kind of weird, but I don't know, it's just something about it. All right. So let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, that's right. Let's just, you know what? If we're going to do this, let's friggin' do this, right? Um, I don't know, I'm going to take a chance. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to do it right. Ah. Right there. What do you think of that? What do you think of them apples? I don't know. I'm just kind of... As my late uncle used to say, I'm just free-balling it. I have no idea how practical... I don't think this is practical in the least. I mean, let's just cut the bullshit. All right? This isn't practical. How is this even practical? Oh, shoot. Ah, gotcha. Is that practical? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But it's kind of cute. Now, the problem is, is you know, obviously, that this is eventually going to wear through. And that's fine, because, you know, I'll just cover it with a friggin' sticker when it doesn't. All right, so there's that. I got my hundy in there. I got my charms in there. I got my wallet. The jump, the jump band that I had. I don't know where it is now. I lost it. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Mm, yep, yep, yep. It's not banned. See, this is. Does anyone else like? Please tell me I'm not the only one that like struggles on the daily with stuff like this because this is what it feels like every time I try to do anything even remotely close to planning. Um, found it. It's on the floor. So. I could do this double double wallet action, and I like that because I could have a pen loop, and I'll have two zipper pockets to put change or whatever else I want in there. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Let's let's see. Then we have this book, which is could be for like notes or whatever. Then I've got my message card. I don't know what this is for, but it's I just thought it was cute, and it basically it had a cow on it, and. And it was like shiny. So that's really the only reason why I bought it because, you know, I'm like a fish apparently. And then I am going to bring, I am going to put this in here somehow. So if I do the double, if I do the double zipper ax, uh, action, I was kind of surprised it only came with one, one band, but you know, then again, I didn't research them fully. So I didn't, I didn't know. I just liked the way it looked and I thought I've always wanted one. So I'm going to get one. So, you know, how you like that? So there you go. And then, because I'm just crazy like that. I 
Now see, there's the pro there there lies the problem. There lies the problem. Oh, and this problem. Clearly this is gonna change. I'm sure there'll be some stickers. Oh, I put Ben upside down. He's fine though. He's okay. That's kind of cool because it actually hangs out. So I could actually do one of those things if I really wanted to. But this actually could make it easier for me to just get to my one my money too. Get to my money. So yeah. There you go. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. And look, I still have a jump man left. What am I gonna do with that? No idea. But I like how it's getting kind of fat. It's getting, getting a little bit of a, a little fatty. So you know what I could do is I could do. Boom. Could do something like that. And if I really, really, really wanted to, I might even be able to do, hold on now, hold on, hold on. I don't know if this is going to work. Again, I am a Traveler's Notebook noob. So if you're watching this and you're screaming at the screen, like, why are you such an idiot? Why are you not doing that? What are you doing? Please be gentle. Because I literally do not know what I'm doing. I'm just stuffing things in here and I'm going to see what comes out. Yeah, I like them apples. Gosh, well, I don't know where my favorite pen is. It's MIA. That's a little too big. Oh, and it's also actually unscrewed. Let's see if we can find something. A little wee shorter. A wee shorter pen. It's too big, but you get the drift. And then we get this MFR. Boom. Okay, we don't need that right now. And I haven't even used these things yet. We don't need this right now. And this can go back in here so that I have it if I want it. I'm just slicing right through the plastic. Like, I don't give an F. All right. Garbage. Oh, didn't even put this in yet. In this, because I really like that. I don't know why, but I like that. Boy, this thing's kind of like has some heft. Some heftage. It's very hefty. Put that right there. That's going to get janked up. Yeah, that's right. I'm just, I don't even care. Look at me. I'm just like, look at me getting all, rec all creative. I'm surprised I haven't had a heart attack yet doing this stuff. No, nah, it's not as good. It's a little bit better, but not great. So there's that. And then I have this pencil board and I can just be all like, yeah, it's like, so what, dude? I'm going to just like, you know, whatevs. Just going to flip this and throw that in there and just, oh, you know what, though? I got to be careful because I'm sure that's going to rub off. I'm going to rub off on this something. Let me, I'll just put it in here for now. And that's actually kind of nice because it gives a little more stiffness. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's kind of, you know, I don't, again, is this going to stay this way? I don't know. I don't know. Don't need that. Didn't use any of these. Look, I used a couple of these though. Oh gosh, I still have this thing. I, I really don't know what to do with that. I'll put that over there. I'll put these over here. When I got that page thing, that those other things, I'll just slap it right there. Ugh. Oh my god, it's so painful. It's really stretching that elastic out too. Like really stretching it out because of that pen loop. So I don't think I'm gonna have it like that. I think I'll just keep it at an angle. But yeah, you know, whatever. But yeah, this is uh that's it. I mean I don't know, I might use it as a wallet. 
um, this year, but I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a big change for me because I'm just used to my Malden. The cool thing about these little tabs is that I don't really like that length. I feel like that's too long. So I can probably, oh God, here I go. I can probably just cut it because why not? It's paper. It's a paper, it's a paper, it's a paper pay, uh, wallet. Anyone else hold their breath when I did that? Because I did. No, it's a little bit better. Um, you can probably get a nail file and just like smooth that out a little bit. But yeah, there it is. Voila. I actually stuck some stuff down. I actually committed. I made some like, I made some significant commitment stuff here. Like, that's huge for me. I have commitment issues, so that's great. I mean, I cut this thing. I think that's huge for me. This is huge. That's, I mean, this is huge. Like, I never would have done that normally. I would have been so freaked out. Um, so, sorry, pardon me for my dog. Mailman's here. And he has a very strong dislike of the mailman. I hate to say it, but my dog is totally, totally just average. He is your basic dog. He hates the mailman. Uh, Hopefully, you will have enjoyed this video and I'm hoping it's not going to be too long because it's annoying and on this TikTok you know I've been watching the TikTok and it's like two second two minute videos and I'm just like I'm good and after that I can't handle it anymore so anyways um hope everything's going well I hope everything's good in your side of the world and uh please remember that you are loved you are wanted and you deserve to be here because we all do so anyways hope this finds you well see you later deuces